Hi, welcome back to a brand new video. I'm Alex, a PJ Gold professional, and this channel is powered by you, the viewer. Now, I want to address this in today's question about how do you shallow the golf club and hit from the inside? I don't know any golfer that doesn't want to do that, especially with driver, right? Because that's how we hit longer, straighter drives. And it's really, really one of the questions that I want to address is from Paulie. He said, newsflash. It's about 13 days ago. He said, newsflash, 99% of all amateur golfers have no clue how to shallow the golf club. Well, here's a fact. After today's video, this simple head cover drill will give you all the information you need and something that you can do at home, two parts to this, something you can do at home and something you can take to the range in the course in under five minutes. So the first rule of thumb, if you want to shallow the club, we've got to learn to shallow and square the face. So what I mean by this is I see a lot of people attempt to shallow that club. It comes in here, palms to the sky, club face is pointing right and then we're hitting it high, right and further right. And straight away we do that, I think we become quite discouraged. So by the end of this, we're going to have the idea of how we get it to shallow the club face to be nice and strong matching spine and release through that place of where that, we get that real good feeling of the ball just getting in the way of the club swinging. So first off, I know so we can do this at home to start with stage one, so park the driver down. By the way, can anybody relate to this, right? One of the guys who I teach said, I've got some patio doors at home and I keep practicing my setup and my swing and I'm getting a hard time from a better half from it. Carry on with it. I do it. We're golfers, we're trying to get better. That's what we're here for. Okay, so grab a head cover. What I want you to think about, if, if you're a golfer who's coming over that top, your hand's leading the way, okay? And we're sort of making this move. That, that's always going to plague us. And that, that sort of shaft, if this shaft was my club head, um, head cover, it would always be steepening and working over this way. What I want you to do first off is imagine there's a wall here. Now, I've not got a wall here. I want you to see what this head cover's doing, okay? But I want you to imagine there's a wall here and you're pressing that head cover up against it. So from your perspective, looking at it right now, and then I'll show you some player cam as well. What I want you to feel is elbow leads the way and palm points to the ground. So look at the angle of the head cover. It's sort of dissecting my body and these are the positions that we should see. Not over and through. It's elbow leading the way, palm to the ground. And I want you to think, as you start down, that should all feel the same sequence. Elbow, palm to the ground. This is what I want you to do. And having that wall there, you could sort of press up against it and get the feeling of getting that palm to point to the ground whilst the elbow leads the way. So, what does that look like? Let's bring it to life. Okay, I'd really recommend doing this. Sacrifice one ball down at the range now. Just hit and get away one-handed. So what the ideal scenario is right now and how I do this, grip sort of down towards the end where the graphite of the sh driver shaft is, hook your glove hand under the opposite arm, just around about sort of between the uh, shoulder and your elbow, move it to the top. Get the elbow to lead the way and the palm to the ground. Now look at the position. Yeah, this is super over-exaggerated, but look how the club head's matching my spine, club head's behind my hands, and now if I just rotate in, where's that club moving? Definitely into out, and definitely just get in the way. So, just hopefully a little bit like this. Don't hit it hard, by the way. Up, elbow, palm to the ground, through. Now, if you look to that on camera, you can clearly see how that club's traveling from the inside. Really, really nice move. Did hit it a little bit out the toe, that's why it went left, but that's neither here nor there when you're holding it one-handed. So hopefully you can see right there what mechanics has to take place. We've got to get the club shallow in, so that's the elbow working in, and then the palm to the ground really gets us that feeling of, like we all see the top pros, this nice flat lead wrist into impact. Boom. As opposed to out here, or as opposed to like this. Avoid those moves, and honestly, you'll take your driver to the next level. So 
Just 30 seconds more here. How do you take it to the golf course? Build it into your pre-shot routine just like this. So nice and simple, out on the golf course, all I want you to feel is that you're gonna swing to that top, right elbow closer to the left, and as you do that, your right palm to the ground. Release it through. It's literally very much like a sort of a tennis forehand shot through this space, and just remind yourself, be relaxed. If you're tense, it's gonna be so hard to do it. It's gonna be so hard to do it. Here we go. God, I've chosen a tough tee shot. Oh, high draw, that's what you need here. God, I wish I did that move more often, or thought about that move more often. Thanks so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed that video. Remember, this channel is powered by you, and I really do appreciate it, all your comments, and if you hit that thumbs up button too, it really does help. Thank you.